Komm! Mr. Shelby, Dr. Holford. Send him in. He said it had to be in person. Here I am. You might want to sit down. <sighs> Mr. Shelby, I know that you are still grieving for your daughter. But I have news that cannot wait. When you were x-rayed and examined at the sanatorium ten days ago, there was no TB found. In your lung. But I am afraid they found something else. Something related to your daughter's illness. They tried to speak to you at the hospital, but you were not cooperating. After your daughter's death, you could not be found to be informed in person. Eventually, as your personal doctor, they called me. I didn't offer you tea. You look like death. Do you want tea? No. At the sanatorium, they conducted blood tests. The tests suggest that the shadow you can see at the base of your skull is not cancer. It is tuberculoma. A tubercular growth caused by the same bacteria as TB. You may have picked it up from your daughter. Once this disease enters a household, it can run wild. It can be transmitted with a simple kiss. It seems the Shelby household is no exception. Mr. Shelby, as I say, I am aware that you are still grieving. But you must understand this is very serious. From the size of the tumor, expansion must have been rapid. I have no doubt that you are already experiencing symptoms. Have you recently suffered seizures? Bouts of weakness? Dissociation? Hallucinations? Why didn't you come and see me? to do. My danger to others. No. Unlike TB, tuberculoma is not infectious. Mr. Shelby, it is not infectious, but in your case, I am afraid it is inoperable. The growth is in your brain stem. Any attempt to remove it would result in trauma and brain hemorrhage. Whilst you were refusing my calls, I showed your x-rays to three of the best surgeons in the country. They all said they would not operate, as it would be futile. Of course, you will want a second opinion for yourself. Dr. Helen Rutherford at St. Thomas's. She is a friend. As the tumor grows, the rate of physical and mental deterioration will increase. Eventually, you will need people around you constantly who love you very much. How long? <laughs> I understand that you have defeated many enemies, Mr. Shelby. Now you have a new one inside you. You cannot defeat it, but 
but you can keep it at bay for a while. If you live correctly, if you are determined, and if you fight. I asked you a question. This time I want an answer. I don't want your fucking platitudes. How long before I need people around me who love me very much? Sorry. It's fine, Lizzie. My accountant here was just leaving. I will telephone you when I get back to London. No, don't have enough time. You're an account to give me a fucking number now. One year. Perhaps 18 months. That's fine. That's all I need to know. I'll adjust my finances accordingly. Thank you. I will write you explaining the full implications. Yep, thank you. Good day.